In this video, we'll be creating an email automation in Airtable. The automation will notify you or a team whenever a record gets updated. We're going to use Airtable. Create an account at Airtable.com. It's a database hybrid. It has the features of a database applied to something we're familiar with, spreadsheets. They have a free plan too, which you can view on their pricing page. For convenience, I've timestamped this video in the description. To begin, you'll need to create an Airtable account. Once you've created your Airtable account, you'll need to log in. So if I log into my Airtable account, we can get started on this project. Let's select the fictional sales pipeline database that I created. And if you don't have an Airtable database to work with, copy what you see here and in this table, qualified. You can pause the video while you do that. Now we're going to create the automation. When a contact gets marked as having been contacted, we'll want it to automatically send an email. In this fictional scenario, we want the fictional sales team to get notified whenever a contact gets checked as having been contacted, hence keeping a team in sync. We can create the automation without leaving Airtable. Click Automation, then create a custom automation. Let's title this automation email dash qualified. Now let's define the trigger. A trigger is an action that begins the automation. In this project, the trigger is once the contacted checkbox has gotten marked. Click choose a trigger. Under Airtable, select when records updated. Then define the table you're working in. In our case, qualified. Then the view. In our case, that's contacts. Let's now go deeper. Define the field that the automation should track. Click Select Fields. From the drop down, select Contacted. Now click to run the test. If all is well, the test should pass. We can now save the data to use in the next stage of the automation. Click Done, then click Add Action. Here's where we can define what happens once our automation triggers. Under Airtable, we'll want to select Send Email. We've now got to define the contents of the email. Here's what the email should contain. Two, I'll enter the email address I used to join Airtable, which is ravinder.r.do at gmail.com. If you are running a sales team, this email address could be your team's central inbox. Subject, I'm going to enter sales pipeline update. Message, I'm going to enter the following, drawing data dynamically. Hi, I want to insert the name for a contact dynamically. To do that, I must click the plus sign, then select the record from the first stage. Now I can choose which field I want to source data from. In this case, I want to insert the name. We can now continue our message. Who wants a? Again, I want to insert data from the contact dynamically the project. So I must click the plus sign, then select the record from stage one. Now I can choose which field I want to source from. And now I want to source from project. And we can now continue our message again. Has been contacted, full stop. Thank you, Ravinda. Let's expand, show more options. I want to edit a few things. 
from name. I'll set that to internal sales update. Reply to, I'll set that to my email address. If this were your sales team, perhaps you'd set it to your central inbox or no reply. Now, click to run the test. If all is well, the test should pass and you should get a test email. If I switch over to my inbox, you'll see what the email looks like. Now, click done and we can turn on the automation, then click back. Our automation is now created. Whenever a contact in the qualified table gets checked as having been contacted, an email will trigger. Such an automation is excellent for keeping a team in sync. This project is now complete. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this no-code project, please give this video a like. And if you want to be notified of the latest projects that I publish every week, please subscribe. I'll see you in another no-code project.